warning. This is your Edexcel GCSE Mathematics Linear Exam. Mention the word examinations, and this is the scene most readily brought to mind for many of us. We're all familiar with the nerves, the anticipation of what questions will be asked, and trying hard to stay calm whilst trying to answer them. You may open the paper and begin. But far fewer of us are familiar with what happens once examination papers, or scripts as they're known, have been completed and handed in. Just how is each script tracked, scanned, stored and marked? This film explores just how digital online technologies are being used to benefit everyone in the examination and marking processes. Examinations officers, teachers, markers and perhaps most importantly, the learners themselves. I think it's important the way they mark because if they make a mistake then that's our grades gone down and it's made a big effect to how what our future is going to be like. It's important my exam papers are marked correctly because they determine what I become. It is important because these are the GCSEs that will count for your grades and you need it for college, university. It's just the thing you need. Please put your pens down now. Close your papers. The exam has ended. I will now collect your papers. After an exam is completed, each and every script is collected. They're then packaged into special envelopes and each envelope is given its own unique barcode that is printed onto the address label. The barcode means that every parcel of scripts can be tracked. Most packages are then delivered to the Pearson Script Processing Centre in Hellaby, South Yorkshire. It's a very busy place, particularly so after the June examinations have been sat. The processing centre at Hellaby is predominantly a data capture and data processing site that enables Edexcel to capture all of the exam scripts for uh, around about 40% of the UK's uh, summer exams industry. We'll receive round about 97% of Edexcel scripts uh, through this building. That's round about 4 million this summer. Uh, putting that into a daily context, we're processing round about 150,000 scripts a day through this site, so we'll receive them in, prepare them, slit them, scan them, and then load them onto our e-marking engines. Once the individual scripts have been digitally scanned, our e-marking technology, ePen, makes it very simple for the scripts to be accessed and marked online by our highly trained markers. EPEN is used on marking student responses from GCSE, A-level, BTEC examinations and as markers we go on to online and we can mark these students' responses one item at a time and that gives us consistency because we're just marking that item and then we can switch over to another item any time we wish and we can mark that item consistently as well and we can log on and mark as long as we want, what time we want and where we want. ePen is a very convenient way of marking. In the past, when examiners were marking scripts, they spent a lot of their time cross-checking the scripts they've received with the attendance registers, uh, waiting in for the post to arrive, then packing up the scripts and taking them to the post office. All that is now removed with ePen. They simply download the images of the candidates' responses and mark them. We are using their time more effectively. They are uh, a precious resource. It's really important to us that we've got trained markers because we know that every single candidate's result is, needs to be right first time. There are university places riding on these results. So we make sure that we train each marker to mark just the item type that they'll be marking um, properly and every marker gets trained to mark the specific questions for that series. Training aside, ePen also allows supervisors or team leaders to easily review the quality and consistency of fellow markers' assessments. As a team leader in ePen, we've got various processes by which we can go back and we can have a look at the consistency and the standard of the marking. We use a process called back reading and I'm able to go into there and just take a sample of what they've been marking and remark it to make sure I'm happy with them. If they've made any kind of mistakes at all, then I can get back in touch with them and we can put them right straight away. 
these checks are necessary so that we have confidence that we've given the candidates the right marks because remember behind every response is a real candidate so we want to know that we've given each candidate the right mark. On occasions candidates may write their answers in unexpected places within their answer booklets. To ensure that these responses are also marked ePen enables markers to easily identify and review them. ePen is a flexible system and has a number of facilities on it which allow markers to take action when they see a candidate's response is going further than the defined uh, answer space. For example, if you see the writing disappearing off the screen, you know the candidate has continued writing outside the defined answer area. They will then send that answer to review, where we can review the whole script. In addition to writing outside of the designated areas of their answer booklets, candidates can also run out of space and need to use additional pages to complete their responses. To learn how Edexcel manages these additional pages, called exceptions, it's back to Hellaby, home to Pearson's Script Processing Centre. My job in ePen Exceptions focuses on the scripts that can't be scanned and marked electronically um, for various reasons, i.e. They, they could be oversized, they, they contain attachments, they're completed in the wrong colour ink or they're damaged. Um, they have to be um, booked onto the system manually and sent out for um, traditional marking. Technology is important, but really what makes this place tick, um, in my opinion, are the people. Um, I'm very fortunate to have a very stable workforce who care desperately about what they do and take great pride in it. Well, I think the importance of the job in, in my, uh, for my concern is, is to just to make sure that uh, we deal competently with those scripts that, we, that arrive because they are people's works, they are the pupils' works that, uh, from the school, hard work. And we have to make sure that we handle them correctly, securely, and we get them right every time for every pupil. Once every script has been marked and the results have been published, it is possible that a candidate or teacher may be disappointed with the mark obtained. Through Edexcel's digital scanning processes, it is possible to apply for a review of the mark through a process known as inquiries about results. Inquiries about results is an online tool um, and we use this after the publication of results. Um, we can just select the students um, and there's a drop down menu for which uh, level of service that you require. Um, and then you get an immediate response from Edexcel once you've submitted an inquiry. Um, and it tells you the fees and all the information that you need to know. Our systems have been built so that we've retained that bank of candidates' images in our systems. That means that a student can access that image, a centre can access that image, or we can send the image to an inquiries about results marker who will be able to view that instantly online, send the mark back to us, and we can get that mark back to the student. As an exams officer, using the online Edexcel inquiry about results service, saves so much time, um, it means I don't have to fill out paperwork, which I don't always get the time to do at such a busy time when the results have been published. Um, it's quick and easy. Um, you also get the results of the inquiry uh, within 24 hours, 48 hours, which is very quick. Around results time, the speed about return is so important for candidates because the university places can be riding on getting the right mark out to them. So the quicker we can turn that round, the better for the students. But scanning technology has other benefits too. The digital processing of scripts creates a rich and dynamic set of data that can be used to support the teaching and learning processes. This is perhaps best demonstrated through our online tool, Results Plus. Results Plus is an online tool that we use within school in order to give us an overview of how students have currently performed in their most recent public examinations. From a whole school point of view, we can use Results Plus to inform us of where pupils do well within certain areas um, within the exams and also the areas that they're falling down in. Um, from my point of view as a maths teacher, um, I can look at different classes in particular to find out different teachers' strengths and therefore identify them for needs within the future for our future planning. 
and on a further um, sort of level towards that, we can then look at individual pupils um, with the case for modular exams where pupils might need to resit, we can inform them exactly where they've been able to secure the marks and where they're falling short of the marks that they need. Previously, we might get an overall grade for a student, an overall raw mark for a student, but we were never sure exactly where those grades and marks had come from. Now we can actually sit down and break it down into every single mark that they've achieved and what they've done to achieve those marks that they've secured. This family of digital technologies is growing and Pearson is not standing still. It understands that it must ensure that assessment processes meet the needs of increasingly IT literate candidates, not just in schools and colleges, but also in the workplace, where on-screen testing is already popular. In training, are a work-based learning provider. We're part of the Newcastle College Group and we deliver apprenticeship programmes to um, candidates in their workplace. Edexcel offer a broad range of products on the on-screen testing facility um, and we use quite a wide selection of those. Um, key skills, the BTEC um, awards including things like customer service, business admin, retail, DGV um, and we take up that facility on the on-screen testing route for a lot of those awards. It, it works in today's environment that the, the candidates that we're dealing with are more used to dealing with PCs, laptops, electronic equipment, so they have less fear of that than a, than a, than a traditional paper exam. Obviously because you use computers a lot in everyday life, like at home and at work, it's just more, it seems more natural nowadays to use that as a medium for an exam. If you look at um, our learners and our students, they're really comfortable with and they really use technology every single day of their lives, more so than we ever did as, as youngsters. So ultimately I think those learners and those students will demand that we introduce it and I think we need to be prepared, prepared for that. It's really important to us to keep developing the technology because what ultimately we're trying to do is make sure that each candidate gets the right result. The more we can develop systems that will support getting the right result to the candidate, the more we need to keep doing that. Well, every result that we publish um, has to be accurate because each of those results are going out to, to individual people. They're going to the learners who have studied hard for, for the examinations and we want to make absolutely sure that the, the qualifications they receive have that integrity and are an accurate reflection of their, their efforts. I think we all understand and appreciate the, the significance of, of what we do and everyone in the organisation shares that same sense that on results day we all want to make sure that students when they open their results A they trust the outcome on the piece of paper that they're reading but equally that that result is delivered correctly at the right time and to the right candidate. It's important that my exams are marked correctly because I feel that if I've worked really hard to sit this paper, it deserves to be marked correctly because I want to have a good reliable mark so I can achieve any achievements that I want to achieve later in life. To be honest, I never really thought about how they mark exams. I just expect my result back. But when I think about it, it's like it's a really big deal because what if there's someone there who doesn't even care and they mark it wrong? It's, it's going to affect your whole future because of the difference between a grade and there's so many people out there you need to compete against so you should get as high as you can get.